Hey guys, today on Rebels Off-Road, we're gonna be replacing the axle seal on our 2018 Brute Force. This instructional video will cover all years of Brute Forces. So basically, we were noticing a lot of water was in the front diff when we were changing out our oil, doing our basic maintenance. And what we found is that there was oil leaking out of the left diff seal where it came in at the axle. So we're gonna go ahead and take it apart, replace that, and we're gonna show you a quick and easy way of doing that. The first thing you wanna do is, is go ahead and jack up the four-wheeler and place jack stands underneath it. We're gonna be taking off this tire. We have an impact wrench, but you can do it by hand. Roll it out of the way. We have wheel spacers on ours, so we're gonna go ahead and take those off. You won't have to do this if you don't have wheel spacers on it. So next, we're gonna take off this caliper, and to do that, there is a 12 millimeter bolt right down there, and then, and also one right here. And the caliper should just slide right off. A little wiggle. There we go. Clean that out. Now we're gonna, we're just gonna hang it up right here. Next, we're gonna take off this cotter pin and remove this nut. So we're gonna use some needle nose pliers here. And we remove the cotter pin. Next, we're gonna remove this axle nut. It takes a 27 millimeter and we're gonna put it on our impact drive. So power it off, hopefully. There we go. Now this should just slide right out. See, we got some grease in there. Oh, you nasty. Gonna clean this out. Next, we're gonna remove this upper castle nut for the ball joint. Move the cotter pin on this one. Next, we're gonna remove this castle nut. It's a 17 millimeter. So, little trick, I'm gonna turn the castle nut around so the flat part is up, and we're gonna thread it down until the stud is right in line with the top of the nut. And then we're gonna take a hammer, and we're gonna give it a couple of good, solid whacks. Don't hit it too hard, though, or else you will bend the stud. And see, it just came loose like that. And now, you can go ahead and back back off the castle nut. So I'm gonna show you a little secret. You actually don't have to remove the steering rod if you just remove this upper ball joint. So you just bend it in here like this. It pops out like that. Gonna clean this up. Now, with all this out of the way, we can go ahead and remove the axle. And how you do that is you try to pull it out as straight as possible. You push in a little bit and then out. And, <laughs> and as you can see, whew, there was a lot of water in that diff. Look at that, all that water, holy crap. Well, we got really lucky that we didn't explode a diff. With that much water in it, it's really bad for it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that seal, drain out all the fluid, cause that's just gonna be nasty fluid in there. And we're gonna replace it with all new diff fluid and do a couple flushes probably. Let's get into it again. So next we're gonna get out the seal and to do that, we're gonna be using a flat blade screwdriver. You can always get one of those fancy seal pullers, but uh, we, don't, we don't have one of those. So we're just gonna use our flat blade screwdriver and I'll show you how to do that. Now we're just gonna get it up in the lip there behind the seal and we're gonna press on it at different angles until we can get it out. So go ahead and get it up under there. Just keep working on it at different angles. Uh -huh. There we go. There's the seal. Now we're gonna get a rag in there and clean out the ceiling portion there. Get that nice and clean. Check the condition of the roller bearings. Make sure they roll 
Nice. We're going to pack those up with grease here in a second. Let me get some of this out. Now on the other side, the same process applies to all of this stuff. And then when you get in here, the seal's a little bit different, but same thing. You just want to get your screwdriver in there and uh, wedge it out. That one came out a little easier. That's what the seal looks like on this side. All right, clean up that surface as well. Now I sprayed a little bit of brake clean in here to really clean out these bearings. Uh, let that evaporate and then I'm gonna re-grease them. Whatever you do, don't spray brake clean in here if you do not expect to re-grease and to flush out all your fluid. The brake clean will break down your oils and will no longer give the lubrication needed. So I got these seals from East Lake Axles. Show you what comes in seal. I'll have a link in the description to where I bought these. Um, it basically comes with all the axle seals, I believe, including the input seal for the for the drive shaft. So these are the two axle seals. Not sure. I think this is the input seal here. Um, O-ring. I'm not sure what that goes to. And then this itty bitty seal here. Uh, I'm also not sure where that goes, but these are the ones we're gonna be changing. So the old seal didn't have any sort of lubricant or anything on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is use some of this Permatex Ultra Black. It's a gasket maker. I'm gonna put a little bit on the outer edge here and I'm just gonna spread it out with my finger, get a nice even thin film all the way around it. This will help seal up the outer edge. Just wanna be very careful with it and this ultra black is oil resistant I believe it's able to stand some high heat some high temperature smooth it out a little bit there we go might have put a little too much on it actually but it shouldn't hurt anything we're gonna go ahead and fit it up to where it goes in there like that i'm gonna take this old bearing race that fits pretty good right here and stick it up against the seal and take a hammer, tap it around. That seal has a lip that once you hit it enough, it won't go any more in. It'll just back up into that lip and that's when you know it's fully installed. So we got that seal installed now and we're gonna go ahead and install the axle back in. But first we're gonna clean it up. All right, so we spray brake clean on this surface here um, got it nice and clean and then we put a bunch of grease on these splines you're gonna want to grease those but don't grease the bearing sealing surface they'll only get more dirt and grime in there and it'll wear out your seal faster to put the axle back in we're basically going to do the reverse of how we took it out gonna feed it in like that and try to line up the splines as best we can you're gonna want to just get into there like that and then pop in just like that just in the reverse of how he got it out so now we're just gonna put everything back back in the reverse order of how we took it off and lube everything clean everything put new cotter pins we're not going to reuse any of the old cotter pins that's dangerous we're going to use brand new cotter pins and torque everything to spec other side seal same thing we're going to get that thin film of black ultra permatex on there install it similarly where we tap tap around it actually goes back in the same way as this one and that's basically it. That's how you change out the seal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We got a bunch of videos, writing videos, installation videos, and also reviews of products. So you're not gonna wanna miss any of those. So stay tuned for that and hit subscribe. Thanks.